Fanny Quigley was a tough woman who grew up in a difficult time in Wahoo, Nebraska, dealing with locust plagues, blizzards, and droughts. She left home at 16 and worked as a cook for railroad crews, learning English and picking up some colorful language. She followed the tracks west and then north to Alaska in search of gold. Fanny was resourceful and knew that miners would appreciate hot meals, so she packed up her cooking supplies and set out for the remote gold camps with a sled in tow. She worked as a dance hall girl for a while, but eventually returned to her passion for cooking and started her own mobile diner. Not content with just cooking, Fanny also got into the prospecting game and ended up marrying a miner named Angus Mackenzie. The couple opened a roadhouse near Dawson and later moved to Kantishna, where Fanny staked 26 claims and married another miner named Joe Quigley. Despite her small stature, Fanny was feisty and learned a wide range of wilderness skills. She became known as one of the best cooks in Alaska, despite the challenges of the short growing season. She even had to mush her dogs 125 miles to get ingredients for her pies, and she used bare lard for her flaky crusts. By the mid-1930s, Fanny and Joe's marriage was struggling, and they eventually divorced. Fanny kept the Kantishna cabin and lived there until her death in 1944. She was later inducted into the Alaska Mining Hall of Fame, and her cabin remained standing and open to visitors.